My name is Katherine Morris and I work with New Mink Inc. New Mink Inc. is a mink farm. Uh, we started in 2003 with 450 breeder females and we grew it to 10,000 breeder operation in four years. When I was 15, I read a book, 101 Ways to Save the Animals, and it was written by PETA. And at that point, I gave up eating meat. I stopped using any products that were tested on animals. I became anti-fur and pretty much was anti uh, any use of animals other than cats and dogs as pets. When I was, I guess when I graduated from high school, I went to the Nova Scotia Agricultural College because I wanted to be a vet and I actually met Daphne there because she wanted to be a vet as well. Um, over the first few years that I spent there, I became more familiar with the agricultural industry. I started working more with farmers, visiting farms, and actually um, seeing their relationship with the animals, my perspectives began to change and I began to realize that these people aren't working with animals because they're cruel people. In fact, it tends to be the opposite. They're working with the animals because they have an appreciation for the animals and a respect for the animals and they actually enjoy working with the animals because if they didn't, I don't think that they would do it. So when I was offered this job, I decided to take it. Um, and then shortly after, I hired Daphne because Daphne has her master's in mink nutrition. So together we grew the farm to what it is today. The majority of our feed ingredients are sourced through local fish plants. Uh, we feed probably between 60 and 70 percent um, fish byproducts, and this is providing employment to the local fish processors. And the, the diet changes throughout the year depending on um, the cycle that the mink is going through at the time. We are constantly balancing the diets. Uh, we send a feed sample away every week to make sure that our fat and protein levels are exactly where we want them. Switch into the other diet now. So Dean, what changes would you have to make to this diet to make it something that you were well, happier with? You know, um, you see, I'm forecasting, you know, roughly in the 24% fat range, Catherine, with about I think that we provide the mink with a very good quality of life. Uh, we provide protection from the elements. We provide them with their own comfort zone, their own territory. Um, they're provided with good, high quality, balanced diet every day. They actually probably eat better than we do. And we provide them with fresh bedding, warm nest box. We do health checks three times a week. We walk through the barns and physically look at all the animals and treat any sick ones accordingly. We euthanize mink with a carbon monoxide cart and we put the mink in the cart and they just fall asleep. Very, very, very quick, very, very painless. The mink are all vaccinated to protect them against the main mink diseases. And overall, they seem very content. Uh, they're, they seem very quiet, very calm, not stressed. And people actually always comment when they walk on our farm at how content the mink do seem. So I, I think we are providing them with good quality of life. I love my job. I do. I, I, it is the very last thing that I thought that I would be doing today, but I really do love it.